Welcome back to the channel guys, your home of Cryptonopium, where we make the big bucks without the crypto hopium. All right, so if you find value from today's video, remember to hit the subscribe and the bell notification icon because YouTube has its way of shadow banning cryptocurrency content at the most critical times. And if you do find some value, hit that like button down below and let me know in the comments what your favorite piece of the video was. Today's topic is on Polkadot and the hopium title of can this make you a millionaire? So the nopium part of this is probably not, but there are other projects that can make you millionaires. Again, why the hell do you want to be a millionaire? What is it about being a millionaire? The real money is made in having solid cash flow businesses. Then you can continue to accumulate cash and live a freedom lifestyle. If you just have a million bucks, then you have a problem of how do you continue to create more cash? Keep that in mind as you go through and look at all of these hopium titles of can this thing make you a millionaire? It does really well in the SEO. That's why we do it. All right, Polkadot, we looked at it late December and it was going pretty well. We had an entry price around six to $7, currently up about 150, 200%. So I'm thinking it's time to start to take some profits from that. With that in mind, I do think Polkadot is going to be a big project moving forward into this bull market. But can it make you a millionaire? Sure, if it goes 10X from here, then you've got 100 grand in the project, then yes, you're gonna be a millionaire. 100 grand times 10 is a millionaire. It's really just that basic, simple maths. But who has 100 grand that they wanna throw into Polkadot? Let me know in the comments down below. An easier thing to do is gonna be go for a smaller cap project. So I wanna talk about small caps. I wanna talk about circulating supply versus total supply, because that is obviously gonna be a major effect on the supply and demand of the, the coin that you happen to buy. And of course, we're gonna have a t quick look at the polka dot chart and do some TA in this price discovery range. So let's have a look at Google Trend words first. Google Trends, Polkadot Crypto, 100. Polkadot Cryptocurrency was at 10. This week, they've flipped. I don't know why. Why are you guys typing in Polkadot Cryptocurrency instead of Polkadot Crypto? Anyone's guess. Google might be able to tell us. But either way, Polkadot is still a highly searched word in Google for this week. So that usually tends to show that the price should be pretty strong. If not, maybe next week we'll see what happens. With the chart, I have it on a three-day chart. You know we like to look at longer-term charts. One week is even better, but let's keep it at three days just to give us a little bit more info because it's such a new project out in the market. Don't look at the 15 minutes. Don't look at the five minutes, 30 minutes, one hours, four hours. You will send yourself mad. It is definitely not worth the time unless you are day trading the markets. And if you're not day trading the markets, then don't look at those charts. Small time frames will only produce small results. We want big results, so we're gonna look at the bigger time frames. So we were getting in as the market broke its highs, right? So there's a high there at $6. Major high here was at $6.86. $7 was a clean conservative entry, otherwise we could be in at around six bucks as it began to break these highs here. There was a reload area at around $8, but I'm gonna take an average of about $7. That's what we were talking about. And you saw it in the video through here by the dip. 2021 cryptocurrency guide to buying the dip. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I've got about 10 to 12 coins in that that I was looking at buying or have bought since that point. Polkadot Pumps is also another good video to get more detail on the analysis. Now, the main thing I wanna look at here before we move on is how to do technical analysis when there is no price data further up. It is believed, I've, I've seen a lot of people talk about it, that you can't do technical analysis when there is no price data up here. That's completely false. All you need to do is use tools that project forward to areas that may have price resistance. How do we think we're gonna get price resistance in the future if there has not been any price action there already? Essentially, we're using Fibonacci numbers, Fibonacci sequence. And I'm using the major range that pushed us out of this, this consolidation area and projecting it from the next low point. Basically, that's just giving us a range to move forward to see if we have some prices. Now you might think, well, what the hell is the point of that? Go back and test it for yourself and you'll see that it does work time and time again. This isn't me making it up. It has worked for at least 100 years that I know of. Anyway, moving forward from that, 
our levels that we tend to look for with this tool is around 100% of that range. However, if the market is pushing stronger uh, moving forward, then we look for around 125 to 150%. So far, we've seen Polkadot do 200% of this range out. This was a strong range that broke us through the resistance and now we've seen it do 200%. I'm thinking it's probably not a bad area to take some profits. I'm definitely not taking everything off the table at this point, but it wouldn't be bad if that's what you wanted to do. Essentially, you're up 150, 200%. That's pretty cool. Polkadot, I think it's got a lot further to go in this bull market, but I'm happy to take some off the table now and then reinvest because the probabilities of this going much, much further, like doubling from here, basically reduce from this point. You're up 200% already. You want this thing to double from $19 to $38. You're really asking for a lot for a market to go from its market cap of 16 billion to then 32 billion in a matter of days or weeks. It may happen, but the chances are reducing the further up we, we move. So how does this help us get to that millionaire status? Essentially, and you may not wanna hear it, but it's just don't become freaking delusional about these coins. Don't stay around with it. Don't get married to it. Remember, hit it and quit it. I have to thank my friend who told me about that little quote. I think it's great. And if you can remember that while you get sucked into the FOMO, it might save you the bucks because this could go 10x. It could move into that point. You've got 100 grand in it. It goes 10x. You get to that million dollar status. But because you're married to the project and you think it might go to $2 million, you're screwed. So it bends you over and now you're screwed. No PM, we are not going to get married to these sorts of things. There is ways to make millionaire statuses, but remember, cash flow is king. It doesn't matter if you've got a million dollars in your bank account. What are you going to do with it? You're going to go and buy something that might return you 5% or 6%. It's nonsense. All right, so let's stick with it and use this moving forward for the long term to create better investment portfolios. This was the, the video here that I talked about. About four minutes in, you've got my list of coins that I am looking at. PokerStarter was one of those. PokerStarter is a Polkadot project or working on Polkadot. And what they plan to do is decentralize funding for new projects, which is pretty cool in itself. PokerStarter is currently at a dollar it has a circulating supply of around 50 million with a total supply of 100 million. So keep that in mind. There are still a lot of coins to come out into the market, which could put pressure on the, the price, but it's not so bad compared to several other coins that I have seen on other channels. Not mentioning the channels, I think the channels are good, but there was one mentioned here, AuraChain. Now I'm not definitely not saying go out and buy anything like this. I'm purely using this as an example. We see tokenomics here of 23 million coins. But remember to look at the release schedule. Now with this coin, it's such a low market cap, it's 20 million. One of these sorts of projects could make you a millionaire. So PokerStarter has a market cap of $56 million. Can this go 10X and get to 550 million? Probably. Can it get to a billion? Maybe. Obviously this is getting a little more risky as you start to move up uh, the market caps. So if you've got 10 grand and you think it can do 10X, you've got yourself 100 grand. Now you've got that 100 grand and you need to split that up into 10 times again in case some of these projects don't work out. That's how you would get to that millionaire status in a more conservative approach, but still taking those risks. The next part is the mindset. You have 100 grand that you've just made off 10 grand, but now you have to go and risk the 100 grand 10 times to possibly win one, two, three, four of those. The rest of them may lose. That's what happens with a lot of these no hope projects. So keep that in mind if you want to be building up rather than just buying one token and then hoping it does 20, 50, 100x to get you from such a low base to such a high base. It's not impossible, but it just takes more time and more luck. So moving on from PokerStarter, which is a $56 million market cap, Let's find another project which has a lower market cap, and that is AuraChain. I'm bringing this one up because I saw it on another YouTube channel, quite a popular one, uh, and they talked about it, that it could bring bigger returns. Now, I've got nothing against a YouTube channel, so don't start hitting me up in the comments. I think it's a great channel, but I wanted to make a big point, like we looked at before, and it's around the circulating supply. You can see here there's only 500,000 of these tokens on the market with 23 million in total. So the market cap's 19 and a half million now, but a fully diluted valuation currently would be 860 million. 
Obviously, that would mean you'd have to have all of those buyers, all of that demand there to get it to that price for starters. But if all of these tokens came onto the market, that would obviously crush the price, crush the market cap, and you'd have to wait for that supply to be eaten up again. So with that in mind, let's have a look at the token release schedule on Orachain's website. And we can see within the first few months from January, which is the 17th now, just one month in, they are doubling the current supply. The current supply was at about 2%. Right here, it shows you that. You can go through it and have a look. It tells you it's around 2%. Doubling it to around 4% just means maybe the price will stay the same if the demand is equal. If not, you could. if there is no demand, then you could expect the price to halve. It's not exactly the way it works in real life, but maths, that's the way it looks there. Moving forward to March, you're up to 5% that is out in the market. So we're going from 2 to 5% within two months. So one and a half times. Now, April, a little more move down to where we get to 10%, which is in September, so about nine months from now, you've got five times the amount of coins on the market. So 500,000 to around two and a half million. Can this hold the price? Maybe, can the price support this sort of uh, influx of tokens? Possibly, it's yet to be seen, but it's really a big point that I wanted to mention when it comes to playing with these small tokens in order to get you to that millionaire from x coin whatever it is I'm not trying to bring anything down anything is possible go out there and live your fairy tale dreams and etc but just keep in mind to make the risks more in your favor and if you can stack them in your favor you're going to do extremely well but if you sit on youtube and look at a whole lot of hopium you're probably not going to do extremely well in the long run remember the name of the game is long term you make the money but then what are you going to do with it I've been through that myself, uh, so that's why I'm trying to speak from some sort of experience, but I'd love to hear your experience down below as well. Have you ever been through one of these bull markets and bear markets and given it all back? Could be a little amount, could be a lot, whatever it is. Let us know, and then what have you done to improve that? How have you gone about it the next time around that you've given, been given this opportunity to increase your own wealth? Be very interested to hear that. So if you guys are sticking around, leave it in the comments down below. Polkadot, I think it's still gonna increase can it make you a millionaire status? Yes, I know it sounds like an absolute cop out. Have 100 grand, get a 10X. Have 10 grand in it, get 100X. But this is the reality of it. So that's your no PM for today. Let's think of a, a more positive spin on all of that as well. Remember, don't marry your coins, hit it and quit it. Enjoy those profits and I'll see you guys at the next video. If you found some value from it, be sure to hit me in the subscribe and the bell notification icon. Leave us a like and I'll see you at the next video.